In this video, we're talking about improper fractions and mixed numbers. And in order to explain these concepts, we're going to talk a lot about pie. Our first example is going to be about strawberry pie. Our second example is going to be about apple pie. So what we want to do is we've been given here a certain amount of pie, and we want to express the amount of pie that we have as both a mixed number and as an improper fraction. So if I just look at this here, and I pretend that these are four pies, right? One, two, three, four pies. And I want to say, how much pie do I have? Well, half of this pie has already been eaten. Eaten. This fourth pie, half of it's been eaten. How much pie do I have left? Well, logically, I can just count how much I have left. I can say I have one, two, three whole pies, and I have half of this pie remaining, so I have three and a half pies left. But how do I express that mathematically? Well, it's really easy to express this as a mixed number. We can say that we have three and a half pies left. If we want to write this as a mixed number, we just call it three and a half, and we write it this way. Three here represents the number of whole pies that we have left, it's a whole number, and one half represents the amount we have remaining of the pie that's been partially eaten. So we have three pies, plus we have a half a pie, so we have three and a half pies, and we write it this way, a whole number and a fraction, and it really means three plus one half, we have three and a half pies. Now I can also express the amount of pi I have as an improper fraction. An improper fraction is a single fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So instead of writing three and a half, three holes and a half remaining, I can write this as one fraction. And the way that I do that is by looking at the number of halves that I have. So instead of three holes and a half, I can say, how many halves do I have left? Well, I have two halves in this first pie, right? One, two halves makes a whole. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I have seven halves of pi remaining. So how do I write seven halves? Well, the way that I write it is like this. I say I have seven times one half pies remaining. So I have half a pie, I have seven of them. When I multiply, I get seven halves. So I can write it this way, I have seven halves pie remaining. Now the important thing to realize is that we used seven halves and three and a half to express the same amount, which means that three and a half and seven halves have to be equal to each other. So there's got to be some way to convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions and vice versa. And in fact, there is. If we have a mixed number, three and a half, we can convert it to an improper fraction using the following process. And this works every single time. We take the denominator of the fraction in the mixed number, so that's two. We take two and we multiply it by the whole number. So two times three is six. Then to that result, we add the numerator, which in this case is one. Six plus one is seven. So then we have seven. We take that number, that result, and we divide it by the original denominator, which is two, and we get seven halves. So three times two is six. Six plus one is seven. Seven over the original denominator is equal to seven halves. So that's how you convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction, and that'll work every time you can follow that process. Now, what if we want to convert from an improper fraction to a mixed number? Well, this essentially is telling us, remember fractions are ratios that tell us to divide the numerator by the denominator. All we have to do here is perform the division. So we do seven divided by two. So if we just do long division and we say, how many times does two go into seven? Well, I put my decimal point here, I'll put a zero. I'll bring my decimal point directly up. Two goes into seven three times. Three times two is six. Seven minus six is one. Then I bring down my zero here and two goes into 10 five times. So I get 3.5 or three and a half, right? 3.5 is equal to three and a half. And so I get back here to my mixed number. So if you have an improper fraction, you can do long division to convert it to a mixed number. If you have a mixed number, you can do that process. Denominator times whole number plus numerator all over the original denominator gets you to the improper fraction. And these are both completely valid ways to express a real amount of something. So we had three and a half pies, we can write it as three and a half, a mixed number, or as seven halves, an improper fraction. Let's look at a second example here. You can see that we have, we'll pretend that this is apple pie, right? So we have four pies, one of them has been partially eaten, and it looks like a third of it has been eaten. So this pie that's been partially eaten, you can see it's been divided into three parts, one, two, three parts, and one of them has been eaten. So one third of this pie has been eaten, I have two thirds of it remaining. So how much do I have if I wanna say a mixed number? Well, I know based on this partially eaten pie that I have two thirds here. So if I say one whole pie, two whole pies, three whole pies, and two thirds of a pie, then I can say three, and two thirds is what I have left in terms of a mixed number. 
So what do I do then if I want to express this as an improper fraction? Well, I look at my pie that's been partially eaten. I know a third has been eaten. I have two thirds left. So because I'm dealing with thirds, I want to count in thirds. So if I look at a whole pie, I know that one whole pie is going to be three thirds, right? 3 over 3 is equal to 1. So I'm going to have 3 thirds in one whole pie. So I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I know I'm going to have 11 thirds as my improper fraction. If I didn't want to count and instead I wanted to use my mixed number and convert that to an improper fraction, I'd just do 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, and 11 over my original denominator of 3 gives me 11 thirds. If instead I had started with an improper fraction, 11 thirds, and I wanted to convert that to a mixed number, I'd just divide 3 into 11. I'd put my decimal point here, bring it up into my answer. 3 into 11 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. Because my remainder is less than my divisor, 2 is less than 3. I know I'm done and I use this as my remainder. So I have 3 and then 2 over 3 left. So 3 and 2 thirds, which gets me back to my mixed number answer. So either way, when you're dealing with a real amount like this, you can express it as a mixed number or an improper fraction, and you can convert easily between the two, either with long division to go from an improper fraction to a mixed number, or with that process where we take denominator times whole number plus the numerator, and then divided by the original denominator to get from a mixed number to an improper fraction.